So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Well, I received a comment uh, written beneath one of my YouTube videos. I would like to share this comment with you and I would like to know what your um, opinion and your view is. So I'm going to read out the comment first. Growing up in the 1970s and 80s, I looked up to my older brother who loved astronomy. Wanting to be like him, but not exactly like him, I got a decent entry-level student microscope. Now as an adult, I see as a hobby, that the mic mic microscope community never really took off like the astronomy community has. There don't seem to be any hangouts or even YouTube channels dedicated to micro uh, microscope users like there are for astronomers. So I thank you very much uh, for what I have for what you have done. But about 10 years ago, I purchased a nicer microscope as well as my first telescope. I have four telescopes now, and I still only have that one new microscope. Well, thank you for the comment and I have to tell you, well, I agree with uh, what you, you've observed. Uh, I too think that there are many, many more resources available um, for astronomy compared to uh, microscopy. Um, I don't only think that, but the simple Google search is going to uh, yeah, provide the appropriate data. Um, indeed, amateur astronomy, also there were also more magazines available, more websites available. And um, yeah, for microscopy, the resources simply are not quite, uh, quite as big. And I was kind of wondering, why is that? Um, many years ago, back in the 1990s, uh, maybe some of you, most of you are already too young, still too young to remember that, um, a comment, Comet Hail Bob, um, started to appear on the night sky. And this is the time when I started to pick up uh, amateur astronomy myself. I bought myself a telescope. Um, I took pictures uh, at that time still on film camera um, yeah, of the comet. Very nice, very beautiful. Um, I loved uh, the astronomy a lot. Um, and even at that time, I realized there were quite a few resources available. Not so much online. Uh, internet was still very young. Um, but uh, at that time, uh, quite uh, um, a bit, there were quite few astronomy resources. So, for example, I subscribed to the magazine Sky and Telescope, um, and was quite active as an amateur astronomer at that time. But uh, then later on, switched over to microscopy, um, also because of my profession and uh, yeah, for other reasons. And I discovered that all of a sudden there were not many resources available. Um, so. Uh, Essentially, I can confirm that, uh, what uh, you've uh, observed in, as well. The question is, is why is that? And uh, I'm afraid that I do not have a very good answer for this. Uh, maybe it had certain historical reasons behind that. Um, but I do have one hypothesis and I would like to share this with you and maybe you can also comment on that. And I think one of the reasons is, is of course, that um, astronomy, amateur astronomy, essentially has all of the backing of space travel um, yeah, and SpaceX and NASA and, and, uh, and the ISS, the space station. So there's a lot of, lot, lot of uh, public, indirect public support. Um, so uh, essentially children wants to become astronauts, right? Um, so there's lots of, um, of indirect public support that generates some interest uh, um, in the universe. Yeah, um, and um, I think uh, concerning uh, microscopes, not quite as much because, and that's my second hypothesis, even though microscopes are present in schools so many times. I think uh, pretty much every school has uh, microscopes uh, standing around in a lab. Still, um, those microscopes, um, yeah, even though when you observe things, microorganisms under the microscope, yeah, they are usually associated with uh, yeah, either diseases or decay and uh, seen as something negative. So I think the, the medical um, association of microscopes or maybe even the association with the subject biology, which is unfortunately sometimes perceived to be a little bit of a dry subject in, in a school. You have to learn about the different stages of cell division and, and the biochemistry and all these things. It's sometimes seen as a little bit of a dry subject sometimes. Maybe this also causes certain negative associations um, with, uh, with microscopes. I don't know, um, which is to me a little bit surprising uh, because I think uh, that um, microscopes actually visually are significantly more impressive uh, than, for example, telescopes. Um, microscopy as a hobby is also much easier to do. You do not need to wait for good weather or, or for the night sky. Um, you can basically do it any time of the day. It's not specifically particularly expensive either. Um, you can see color, you can see movement under the microscope. Um, all of these things are really not so available to you when you do astronomy. 
right? And if you want to take those beautiful astronomical pictures, your equipment has to be already pretty good as well. So from a hobby perspective, I would like to encourage you, if you're already into amateur astronomy, do try um, to get yourself also a cheap microscope and simply start exploring this as well, because it's also a way of observing nature and, 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 uh, and, and the environment. Yeah, so let me hear what you think. Um, is it really like that, that, that microscopes are so negatively connotated? I don't know, yeah, because of bacteria and disease, microorganisms are they dangerous? Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, even in my YouTube channel, I discovered that those videos that are more popular or receive the most clicks sometimes have a little bit a slightly disgusting aspect to it. Some face mites under the microscope or some dangerous, uh, um, dangerous looking um, amoeba that start to eat up other um, microbes. Honestly. Um, yeah, uh, I know it's this kind of fascination for 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 this uh, spectacular. I think that uh, it starts to also pull um, viewers uh, to some of the videos, but that is essentially not what uh, microscopy is only about, right? There are so many other things, uh, like the beauty of, of of crystals and the beauty of the. Um, patterns in nature and so on, which goes more into the artistic uh, direction. But let me hear it uh, from you. What do you think? What could be the reason why um, astronomy is so much more popular and uh, why there are so many more astronomy communities out there compared to microscopy? I think I'm going to leave it at that. I wonder what you have to say. Happy micro hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.